your storm track weather with Chief Meteorologist Matt Miller. Today, temperatures were able to warm back into the 40s after at least the overnight warming kept us from having any significant amount of freezing drizzle early on. And it turns out the amount of precipitation was extremely light early on today. But now we're looking at dry weather for several days, clearing out tonight, cool weather for tonight. Sunny and warmer tomorrow should really take on a very comfortable feel to the air for Monday afternoon and will outdo that on Tuesday with even warmer conditions. We do have a cold front coming in on Wednesday, but it's not like like those last few cold fronts that came through just dropping us back down to highs in the 40s during the middle of the week. Sunny sky right now at Manhattan. You can see the cloud cover moving away. This is looking northeast. You can see the bank of cloud cover off to the east. You can see it faintly way out on the horizon from Junction City looking to the east as well. And looking again in the Lawrence area, still underneath clouds, a little bit of clearing starting to show up on the horizon as that area of cloud cover moves on out. Temperatures will really rebound in the next couple of days, but not before we cool down tonight. 40 degrees, currently feels like 32. There is a breeze out of the west-northwest at 15 miles per hour. We've had that throughout the day. It's not going to entirely go away tonight, but it should let up a little bit. And more than likely, most areas will cool down into the 20s with a clear sky. Clouds kept us at 35 last night, made it up to a high of 45 degrees, a lot closer to average. Average high in the upper 40s, and it looks like we're going to be able to, by tomorrow, finally get back above average for a little stretch. 37 at Marysville, 35 currently at Hiawatha. Lots of low to mid 40s, central and south, 46 at Emporia and at Manhattan right now. Northwesterly breezes anywhere from about uh, 9, if that's correct. I mentioned that earlier, the Manhattan airport doesn't tend to pick up northwest direction very well in the wind. But most areas, though, running fairly close to 15 miles per hour. That wind will start to let up by 11 o'clock down into the 5 to 15 range. It doesn't go away overnight, and by the time the sun comes up, it starts to pick up but out of a westerly direction. And while it does get in the 10 to 20 mile per hour range again tomorrow for a little breezy weather, it certainly won't be an uncomfortable breeze toward the afternoon. And then as we head into Tuesday, we get more of a south and southwest wind. Still just a little breeze blowing through, but enough to really help boost temperatures through the next middle portion of the week. As a matter of fact, Early to middle week, we're looking at upper 50s. Would not be surprised if several areas hit 60 tomorrow with widespread sunshine. We only cool down into the low 30s for Tuesday morning, but look at that. Middle 60s by Tuesday afternoon. Got rid of that Arctic air and we're back into a, a warm stretch. And it's really not that high above average. It's only running about 10 to 15 degrees above average over the next couple of days. But after being 45 degrees below average, it's just a huge difference in temperature. A little bit of light wintry weather moved through this morning. Now the cloud cover moving out. As that system exits out, there's a lot of quiet weather across the west. This ridge is building in. That's going to shove this system way to the north of us and allow us to have some pretty quiet weather. Heading in toward next weekend, again, uh, that's our next chance for precipitation, but at least in the short term, we're looking at clearing of the sky for tonight and lots of sunshine heading into the daytime tomorrow. Temperature-wise, with a westerly breeze, we make it back to about 60 tomorrow, 64 on Tuesday. We cool back to 47 Wednesday. We'll have to watch whether or not Friday brings a chance for some scattering of showers or some indication of that. But I think a better chance of that comes in late next weekend with rain, maybe snow if it comes in late enough in the day with temperatures back in the low 40s for highs next weekend. But a really nice start to the week. Stay with us. We'll be right back.